Coach Casey, make an opening statement, please. Um, you know, I, when I saw the bracket, the first thing I said was, I'm not sure that's a, a you know, a, a number three national seed bracket. I thought it was really tough, and you could see the way uh, uh, San Antonio played tonight. Well, uh, got to give them all the credit in the world. They played their tail off. Uh, fortunately for us, our guys battled as well, and they kept playing and uh, got through some mistakes we made, obviously. Got a good start out of Matty. And, uh, you know, Max was, you know, nails down at the end. And then, you know, to, to stay uh, stay the course there when they had their closer in the game, I thought it was pretty impressive for our guys to hang there. Case, what the past two games and wins been like for your blood pressure? I don't know yet. I don't check it. <laughs> I better check it. Uh, you know, we just, I don't know. You know how it is. We just... <laughs> It, it's tough to win um, games, and it's really tough to win, you know. And I thought that they, uh, they I thought they were really aggressive early, and you know, we're excited and energized, and um, not that we weren't, but uh, you know, um, you know, they're coming in here playing a team that was a national seed, and, and I'm sure they felt like, hey, this is a great opportunity for us to show what kind of club we are, and they sure did. Dylan's had some big hits for you in the last few weeks. What did you think when he stepped up to play too? I thought he was going to hit a ball in the right center gap. <laughs> No, I just, if you know, we, we felt like we had the right people up, and certainly Dylan is locked in, and uh, I don't think there's anybody else uh, that we'd want up there more in that situation than Dylan. And, uh, you know, Michael was moving. Uh, he was running like Andy Peterson there from first to home, and, uh, you know, ball was torched. So uh, just proud of our guys to stay with it. Um, yeah, you know, he's been throwing for, what, three or four innings, I think, and um, he f kind of fell into a routine. You're kind of noticing he only threw, like, I think maybe two or three off-speed pitches. Um, you know, you, you kind of recognize stuff and when people fall into patterns, and he was definitely doing that. And, uh, you know, I took advantage of it. I was looking for first pitch fastball, uh, got what I was looking for, and, you know, took advantage of it. What were your emotions when you hit it? You know, I wasn't completely sure if Michael was going to score, but, you know, I saw him moving like I've never seen him move before. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, I was happy. Um, you know, I love these guys like brothers, and I love everybody on this team. And, uh, you know, I think it shows with how much we battle together and stick together. And, uh, you know, Matt's given us his all, this, you know, this whole season, you know, coming back his senior year. Uh, you know, it speaks volumes for him and, you know, his mentality and uh, the kind of person he is. And this is the kind of team that we have. And, you know, I was just happy for my guys that I was able you know, to get up in that situation, and I was just happy that they were able to get on base for me, so I was able to come up in that situation. I mean, how concerned were you of ninth inning and you're down one run? Not at all. Not concerned at all. I mean, this team, we're resilient, and we trust in one another. You know, I didn't pick it up today. Guys had my back. You know, I knew I knew someone was going to get the job done. And uh, I was sitting there with uh, Josh there, you know, we just said it to ourselves, you know, we got this game. So, I mean, we're confident, and uh, we're confident in each other, and that's what counts. It was quite a celebration for just being a first round regional and a lot of relief. But. Treat every game the same. That's the way we see it. Dylan, Case has called you probably the most overlooked guy on the team. Do you agree with that throughout the year? You know, I'm fine by it. Um, you know, I'm, I've always been kind of the guy that's flown under the radar. You know, I'm not really <laughs> too big on attention. Um, kind of a quiet guy. Uh, you know, I get, you know, outspoken when I need to be and stuff. But, uh, you know, that's what drives me. I'm just, you know, I just, you know, try and push my teammates to be better. It's just lead by actions. It's what I've always been told since I was growing up, since I was a little kid. Um, just lead by your actions, and that's what I'm trying to do is just, you know, you know, take advantage of what my teammates are doing in front of me. And, you know, they're doing a great job getting on base, getting me in certain situations to, you know, come up huge for our team because it's all about, you know, it's, it's the team. You know, that's, you know, can't look past anybody. I don't care who gets the accolades as long as we keep winning. Well, I certainly, you know, knew he'd be a, a really good coach. Uh, followed him when he was down at uh, Riverside Junior College, then over to Riverside. And I remember telling Doug Smith that, you know, he would be a very good choice for a pitching coach. And um, and then I talked to Mark Masseri when that job was open, and I said, you know, the guy will be a, a very good head coach, and he's proven to do that. Who are you going to throw We're either going to throw uh, Andrew Moore or Benny Wetzler. We're going to go back right now. And uh, we haven't had a chance to look. You know, we watched uh, Santa Barbara yesterday. 
and uh, I mean today watched him play, but really haven't had a chance to um, look at any of the tape or anything like that. We, we prepared it so that they're both ready to go, and so uh, you know uh, we're gonna talk. Me and Nate are gonna sit down and talk here in just a few minutes. Dylan, how can you guys feed off the emotion of the game tonight and take it into tomorrow? Uh, you know, it's like last year at LSU that final game. Um, you know, there's something about that game that I think drived all of us to finally realize I think something just clicked. And, uh, you know, we had it at points this year. Um, there were some times we didn't have it, and I didn't think we had it at the beginning of the game. But towards the end, we started to pick it up. And I think that uh, everybody that wasn't there last year is finally seeing what we felt last year and what we uh, noticed. And I think everybody's starting to buy in and finally realize that, you know, it's playoff time. Everybody's good. Nobody, I mean, they're all here for a reason. And uh, I think if we just use the energy and the emotion that we had, you know, the last couple innings of this ball game, um, I think we'll be just fine. Um, you know, I've just been trying to throw strikes all year, and um, we got such a senior living or senior driven team. And um, you know, I knew when I came in that uh, you know I had to get the guy out, and so um, I just tried to get ahead, throw strikes, and um, I think I did a pretty good job of that. Our team, uh, Dylan, picked us up obviously, and you know we've been just been so good all year at standing games, and um, you know just keeping it close. I knew I had to keep it, you know, at one run once that run scored. Because you put Max in in some tight spots about your ASU series comes to mind for one and then here tonight. Uh, he's another one of those freshmen who doesn't look like a freshman. Yeah, he's been doing it all year. And so, uh, you know, he maybe, I don't know, five, <coughs> six weeks ago, he went through a little bit of a tough spell. And uh, we just told him, hey, there's there's nobody that hasn't made a bad pitch here and there. You know, you just got to keep doing what you're doing. You're good. You're real good. And uh, we're going to keep putting you right back out there. And we did. And, uh, you know, I have no... I had no qualms about putting him in the game there at all. thought that he's been out there in big situations. He's a big, big situation. Last uh, weekend he was out there. And so, uh, you know, we just kind of get a little bit of a feel. You know, uh, we made some mistakes uh, with some, some uh, O2 pitches and uh, felt like we needed to make a change. And uh, he was the guy. You know, it's tough to compare you know, good moments, low moments, um, in terms of happy moments, a walk-off hit like that in a, in a regional. Front of the home crowd, how does it compare to in your baseball career? Uh, it really doesn't. Um, you know, I love Beaver Nation. Uh, you know, I was just proud that they're you know stuck with us through the whole game. Um, you know, they're always there through the last you know last out, no matter what the scenario, what the case is. And I you know I, I appreciate all that. You know, everybody that, that everybody does for us and you know picks us up and you know we really feed off of their energy. And you know we want to do it for them and do it for us basically uh, more than anybody. Um, but you know I can't. You know, it just speaks uh, for them. Just you know, we just want to do it for them and do it for us. Is uh, you know, that's all I got to say for that. Case as a as a professional hitter at one time yourself and a guy who made made your living hitting. Talk about coming up in that situation, looking for a pitch and, and swinging away first pitch and hit the ball like that. Well, you know, you got to trust your guys in the middle of the order. And Dylan's matured as a hitter beyond. You know, I can't. I just can't tell you how much he's matured as a hitter. The talent's always been there. Uh, college baseball game is difficult, and um, you know he knows. We've worked since September on what our approach is and what we're doing. He knows exactly what he's doing, and like he said, you know, you know there might have been a situation earlier where he's looking for a breaking ball. Maybe there's a situation he's looking in, um, but he knows what he's. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing, and um, like he said, you know, I, 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 it's my second time seeing him, and felt like that I was gonna um, look for a certain pitch in a certain area, and uh, you know, it's. Uh, it was good, and there's certain people that we, we need to visit with about you know swinging the first pitch in certain times of the game that are not hitting in the middle of our order that would probably help us out to set the table a little better. So I um, thought that was one thing that maybe a little bit frustrating was it had a couple guys swing early, and um, you know you can't you, you know when the guys that have power you know you just can't take the bat out of their hand, and they just can't you know there there will be a situation maybe we're telling you know hey you might want to look here or something like that, but. You know, if you're hitting in that area, it's 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 really tough to think that you got to take the bat out of their hands. How frustrated were you with the two errors and was it the eight? Well, I certainly wasn't very excited about it. You know, um, I thought Max came in and did his job, and you know, errors happen, and you know, you just don't want them to happen at this crucial time. You know, I was probably more frustrated with the fact that you know we made a couple of mistakes when we were heading the count. You know, we had a two-out walk that didn't help us out, and um, you know, those are little things, and those happen, and. Um, 
th those things do get you frustrated, but you also understand that, you know, the, the guys are battling, you know, and they're going to, you know, you go to the big leagues and see a guy make a 0 2 pitch that somebody gets a hit on, and you see him walk somebody with two outs. Or, so, um, you know, I, I just thought those, they took advantage of those things, you know. They took advantage of them, and uh, leadoff walks, two out walks kill you. And uh, as well, you know, the game doesn't change. <laughs> the game never changes. It's the players that play the game, you know. You just go through the through the history of baseball, and I can just tell you that if you walk people, they usually score. And um, if you pitch and play defense, you usually give yourself a chance to win. And offense just determines by how much. Matt, after uh, that, that first inning, you pulled the mic close to you, Mr. Communication. No, not that one. This one. My fault. Um, it was the key for you selling down and kind of hitting that stride there, and you sent 14, 15 down in a row. Well, like Coach said right there, uh, getting ahead, uh, getting ahead in the count, and uh, that's just, I mean, that's the big thing. It opens up everything else. First inning, and late in the game, they're all behind in the count and not getting ahead of guys and leaving balls up, and uh, you know it comes to get come back to bite you. So um, yeah, I mean that was the big thing, just getting ahead in the count and working at my tempo.